I am so happy, you have no idea. This update just dropped, it's in a rolling phase with the newest feature coming to the Todoist platform, Weekly View. Can we get a round of applause? And I got a woo in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. If you go into any of your different projects, you'll notice that now on the top right here, even though it usually had a list view and a board view, if I click on calendar, oh, not only do I have a month view, but I have a week view. And I also can see future occurrences as well for if I wanna put these down. So this is ridiculous. Like I'm so grateful for this. It's, it's not even funny. So as you see right here, I have a bunch of different tasks that I have from a uh, recurring task standpoint. So this works well if I take a look at it here and I pretend like it's a Sunday and I have a bunch of different tasks that I wanna do regarding like vacuuming, cleaning my oven, all that sort of stuff. If I take this clean bathroom task right here and I say I wanna do it from like one to 2 p.m. Now I can easily just, oh my goodness, this is awesome. I'm so grateful for this. Um, and you'll notice when I click on it, it showcases the time. So every Sunday at, that would be 1 p.m. for one hour. So if I just change this to every Sunday and press enter, it's removed from my calendar and put back up here. Now, if I did this, if I did every Sunday at 3 p.m. for 30 minutes, watch this. If I go to that next Sunday, it actually doesn't end up going into that part of the calendar, which is a bit odd. So I'm gonna try it with a new task. Let's press my shortcut Q and say, take the trash out at 3 p.m. for one hour. Press this. It does in fact go into my calendar. So you'll notice that even just by typing things out, you know, maybe I wanna take the trash out for an hour. It ends up putting it for that slot. And then if I use any of these other things like tomorrow, it ends up adjusting it. Let's see this for the take out the trash. It says from 3 to 4 p.m., but what's weird is when I do this, it ends up not popping up on my calendar here. And I can confirm that this is in my MRT backlog, so I'm not really quite sure what's wrong with it. If I remove the due date and just add like tomorrow. Ah, I see the issue here. There's this filter that shows the due date and it's by today. So I would just say it's better to do the next seven days or something like that to showcase it. Um, and then removing the future occurrences for things so that you don't have a million recurring tasks showing. So if I do this again and say, take the trash out today at 1 p.m. for 15 minutes. And then I could obviously move this and that does that. Or I could say, grab this by right clicking and then clicking on tomorrow and then it'll move it. So it's just a matter of that filter here. It's very important. You can also adjust this filter by priority and label. So you only see certain items here, which I really appreciate similar to the month view. Having this uh, has, even though I have a myriad of different recurring tasks, this future occurrence or not being on or off really prevents my to do is from lagging. So definitely check out this update and feature. And this is perfect for time blocking. Like if you have a Google calendar, you can have it sync up with that time adjustment and this Google Calendar will be in sync with these lined up. And then if you don't have a date for it, removing the date will obviously get it off the calendar. This works for any different project that you're in. It does not work for views, right? Like we still only have list and board view. It'd be great if the upcoming view, for example. What is great that it is in the upcoming view though. So in this upcoming view, you can see your calendar. And this is essentially just filtered to showcase pretty much everything that's upcoming and then you can adjust the filter further here. So this is an aggregated view of everything on your calendar. So you can use this as like a planning view, for example. Or if you wanna do it in individual projects, you can as well. So it does not obviously work in the today view, but the upcoming view aggregates everything and then a specific project view as well. Usually they end up doing that, the upcoming view, ends up showcasing a aggregated view of all of the different projects that you have. So I check this out and check out my course on Mastering Todoist. I actually have had a course on this for a while now. We'll check the link down below and check out this video on how to improve your skills using tools like Todoist even more.